comes popping up at the end of Jay Balvin's Weekend One Coachella set, the man in black, Will Smith, appeared to sing his 1997 Grammy winning hit. Cause you never quite know where the MIBs is at. Sing! The song from the 1997 hit movie was actually, I didn't realize this, Will's debut as a solo artist. Yeah, it was the first track he ever released without Jazzy Jeff. Sorry, Jazzy. And 27 years later, Will did a secret rehearsal with Jay to make sure that the surprise appearance was something to remember. Thank you, my guy. Yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah! Thanks, you. Coachella, here we go! Yeah. <laughs> Pick up the MIB! Pick up the MIB! Lo que era un sueñito. Lo que era un sueño en el estudio. El príncipe de Bel Air. The good guy dressed in black. Remember that. Just in case we have a face to face and make contact. Just slide. Just slide. Just slide. Come on. Let me see you take a walk. Where 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 you take Get on that stage for the first time in five years at the California Music Festival, and Will seems pretty in the zone. What did you think of Will's Back in Black performance with Jay Belvin at Coachella? I loved it. And we love this version of Will Smith, right? This is like the original version. This is the Fresh Prince uh, version of Will Smith. So don't think B, what was there is now gone. Black suit with the black gray bands on. And this is about six months, six months after. Uh, Will made what many call the triumphant return to his music persona during the Grammy salute to 50 years of hip-hop that aired in December. And I can't help but think that um, this is a bit of a... Um, not that it's, I'm not saying it's disingenuous, but it's a bit of a strategy, or at least it's part of the, um, you know, the rehabilitation of Will Smith's career post-slap. Probably some people don't want me to bring it up, but you have to realize that we are under two months now until the biggest, the hugest, the make-or-break test of Will Smith's career Bad Boys, Ride or Die coming out. See so yeah, how the film's release will be the first test to see if audiences are still gonna show up and pay money to see Will Smith in the movie. And so yeah, of course he has to do promo appearances and appearances like this certainly, you know, maybe help people forget or erase their memory of uh, the slap. MIB, be what you think you saw, you did not see. Yeah, let me hear your thoughts.